Hi there, I'm Anupriya. How is you? What? What did I say? How is you? Is it correct? No, it is not. You need to collect it. And the correct is, how are you? Yes, so in the beginning, I have introduced you that what this session is going to all about. This session is about sentence correction. Yes, I have selected few sentences in which there's something wrong and you need to pick it up. I haven't marked it earlier that what is the wrong in it. So let's go ahead. First is, my father gave me a pair of binoculars. So, what is wrong in it? Can you find it out? Yes, that is this one. We don't pronounce, there's a spelling mistake. There's a, it's not pronounced binocular. It's pronounced binoculars. There are few nouns which consist S in it, right? We don't pronounce it binocular. We say what is binocular? That is a kind of object you must be knowing which is used to uh, see the distance um, uh, sceneries to uh, come a little closer, right? So, we say my father gave me a pair of binoculars, right? Binoculars, mind it. She is suffering with flu. What's wrong in it this? She is suffering. We don't use this preposition. It's always used suffering from. I'm suffering from headache. She's suffering from flu. I'm really suffering from such kind of pain. I cannot explain. So we always use suffering from, not with. Yes, mind it. Next is from the last one month that each of us has been working so something on the same project. From the last month, each of us have been working on the same project. So what's wrong in this? Are you able to find out? Let me tell you. It's not from the last. No, it's not. It's wrong. It's for the last month. Now you say Hawaii. Because we, when there is a period of time and there is a point of time, we use since and for. Now what, for what since and what for? This is used here, for is used here because there is the explanation of period of time. What is period of time? The time where the time is not sure. If I say I'm waiting for you since 5 o'clock. So here the time is sure. If I'm saying 5 o'clock, so 5 o'clock means the exact uh, at 5. I started waiting when there was 5 o'clock in the world. But if I'm saying you that I'm waiting for you, for 5 hours, so there is no surety which 5 hours, with what time I started waiting for you. So when the time is actually not sure, that is a period of time. When there is extension of time, there is a period of time. But when the time is sure, that is definite, that is point of time. So here, for the last one month, if I say I am waiting for you since January, I am waiting on this project since January. So January is fixed. January is sure. But if I am saying I am working on this project or each of us are working on this project uh, last for one month. So which one month? That is not definite. That is a period of time. So here we will use for not from. Right? For the last one month. Which month? It is not mentioned here. Okay. Next is our team comprised of 11 members. So what's wrong in this? We never say comprised of. Comprise means consist of. It means that having something. The same sense of position. We uh, cannot say our team consists of 11 members. It means that there are 11 members in our team. But we will only say our team comprised of will not be used. So comprise of no, that is only our team comprise 11 members because comprise completely completes the sense of having 11 members in the team. Next is the first inning of the match was very sensational, right? So what is wrong in this? Yes, I hope if you are fond of uh, watching lots of sports, you must have find out. It's not inning, it's innings. Yeah, there are few kind of, it's a kind of noun which carries 
S with it. So the first inning of the match was completely very sensational. Now one thing I need to mention here, if there is was here, the auxiliary verb is here was. So it means the match was single because in any case, inning is going to be innings. If there are more than uh, one innings, definitely that will be innings. There are only single innings, so that will be also pronounced innings. But how I will found that there are, you know, how many innings were there. So it will become plural auxiliary verb, that is verb. And innings were very sensational. They played four innings and the innings were very sensational. They played one innings and the inning was very sensational. So here you can find out with the help of this that there was more than one inning. Definitely in the starting of the sentence also four inning, five inning will be also mentioned. But if the inning innings was single, so we will use was. And if it is more than one, so definitely we will use were. In the sense of past tense, right? Okay, next is I have been waiting for my mother for the past three hours. Now you will tell me what is exactly incorrect in this sentence. Are you able to find out? I'll give you a minute, a second, but no time. Yes, there is no mistake in this sentence. I already have explained to you here that when we use for, when the time is not sure, the time is not definite, a period of time. So, I have been waiting for my mother for the past three hours. Which three hours is not mentioned here? So, there is no mistake in this sentence. It's purely correct. Okay, how much horses were there running? In the last race, what is the mistake? Very basic, very common. Yes, that is what? How many horses? Much is used for something which is called quantity, which cannot be measured. But we can count the horses. How many pens are there in the box? Right? How much milk is there in the pot? So much is used for the quantity which cannot be counted, which can be measured. Right? We can measure the things. But many is used which can be counted, right? So horse, we can one horse, two horse, three horse. For such kind of nouns, we use many, not much. So here, this one is wrong. We will use many. How many horses were there running in the last race? We had a lot of difficulty to find the house. So what's wrong here? What's wrong here? Okay, there's something wrong. I'll tell you. We had a lot of difficulty not to find. This is wrong. After difficulty, what preposition comes at the place? We had a lot of difficulty in, after in, there is always I and G with the verb. I have a lot of difficulty in finding the house, right? It will be in finding the house. After difficulty, we never use to, we use in and with in. Whatever verb follows, that is actually used with I and G. So, I had a lot of difficulty in finding the house. And the last is, he got angry upon me. Okay, we never say when there is a person. When someone gets angry with a person, right? So, when there is me, we never say he got angry upon me. We say we go, he got angry with me. Yes, I'm a person or someone else is a person and someone has got angry with me or with him or with her. So in this way we have learned that what mistake actually can be made when we use such kind of sentences in given situations. And next time you're not going to do any of them because you have learned enough and you're going to practice. That's all for now. Bye.